nearly 200 vehicles as part of a crackdown on ghost plates and drivers who consistently blow off tolls. The effort among multiple agencies led to 56 arrests over the last three days. Now, since March, this task force has seized more than 600 vehicles, made nearly 150 arrests, and say it'll collect on more than $5 million in unpaid tolls and other outstanding judgments. Well, the city has launched a new pet inclusive program for those who are homeless. They unveiled the Uplift Families Residence in the Bronx. The facility welcomes homeless families and their pets. The initiative co-sponsored with the Urban Resource Institute is similar to a program set up for domestic violence survivors. A group home on Long Island is being accused of abuse, and family members say nothing is being done. All right, Fox News, Judy Goldberg, talk with the mother who details what her non-verbal son endured at the facility. Stacy Wall is taking action and wants answers. You need to call 911. I, I had to call. <laughs> They just left him there. Her 24-year-old son, Logan, has spent the past five days in the hospital after she says staff at his group home in Medford dislocated his shoulder and fractured his arm. He's nonverbal, so getting the whole story has been difficult. They said he could go back to the group home today, so I should send him back as his mother to the place that I reported all of these other incidents on these people. That's where I should send him back. Since Logan moved into the home in June, Stacy says it's been one incident after another. The home is operated by Citizens Options Unlimited, which is sanctioned and licensed through AHRC. While neither can comment on specific cases, Wall says her stack of incident reports keeps growing. <laughs> Every time something happens, it gets reported to the Justice Center and OPWDD, or the Office for People with Developmental Disabilities. For their part, OP. WDD says they cooperate with the Justice Center and law enforcement, and any abuse is completely unacceptable. But Wool says corrective action is rarely taken, and without cameras inside homes, it's hard to know what goes on. He had a horrific rash in September covering his whole body. One of the reports here with the Justice Center reports is from that he had to go to urgent care. Another aggressive individual attacked him. He was in urgent care again. Now the Justice Center that's in charge with protecting more than a million vulnerable New Yorkers tells Fox 5 they can't comment on pending investigations. But a spokesperson does say every allegation of abuse and neglect is investigated to make sure those found responsible are held accountable. The system has to change. Parents like me are trapped. Wall is speaking out on behalf of other parents who she says fear for the safety of their children. We trust these agencies with our children. Their lives matter, too. She hopes change can be made so others don't end up in the hospital like Logan. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. And from August through today, the Justice Center tells Fox 5 they've received 13 reports from Citizens Options Unlimited tied to the Medford Group home. Well, Alice.